Hi everybody. Today is our second video. We're going to talk about Web GPI and ALC 500. We're going to see we're going to try to see how to connect it. And go to everything. So this is one of the ALC 500s. So as you see, whenever you come to a machine to have this ECU power on, and you should have a status. This is a yellow LED. Must be on. <coughs> it could be on, it could be flashing. If it has a fault code, it's gonna start flashing. So, uh, this port here that's for the power, this one is for the ground, this pin here is for 12 volt, and this port here is for the serial communication to the computer so we're gonna try to put 12 volt here and turn on the this card So now our board is powered on and whenever you, you come to the machine you open the platform control box you check you check your board if it's if it has power is it powered on and you want to connect your computer So we plug it in and let's see what we have here on the web GPI. So you turn on your software, your web GPI. Let's close it and open it again. Like now, let's say you click on connect, but this message device is not responding, that means there is no communication. In this case, you have to try if the Check the power to the board first. Check the you have to have a a good cable USB to serial cable and to be installed. If it needs a driver, you need to install it on your computer. And then you check by the port. Now we have a Come one, let's change it and keep trying. Connect. Now we have we have connection. As you see, he's, he's reading a number here. That's the software number inside the the board. So the number we have here on the top by on the top over here is zero is a S081 6202 the one we have on the board just in case you don't have this sticker this one that shows
why the zoom is not working but yeah in in our case we have the same number here that's the one on the on the detected by web gpi some boards they come without this sticker like like this one it has a so on this one we have no uh, on this board we have no clue to find the, the software number installed on this board already but when we connect it to web gpi it will give us the number next step after after you connect your you get a good connection you click on application now we have this message saying that one file is missing so if you get this message that means the software application for your machine is not installed on your laptop or on your computer you need to install it on your computer that allow you to communicate with the board where you can find this software application I told you on the first video is you can download it from uh, Genie Lift website. So and you can download the software matrix. Software matrix is a big file is around 500 megabyte. Uh, so you download it and it has all files you need for the booms and, uh, you have the old versions and the newer and other instructions that can be helpful so in our case go by we don't know the, the yeah it was on this board was on as an s60 or 65 say here let's see that's the one is an s60 65 So remember that this page here is downloaded. That's one package. You can download it free from Genie website. Video. So what I like to do, I can go through here, click on S6065 and look for my software number and install it the one here we have is is this one so we need to install it see i like to go a different way looking for the software number I like to go open the genie software matrix here and application file installer and number straight here so 
zero eight. That's uh, zero eight one six zero eight one six. That's our file here. And just double click on it and we uninstall it. So let's double click to uninstall. Click yes, uninstall. <coughs> and then finish. So let's see what is the difference now on let's see what is the difference you can close this one and try again disconnect connect again and click on application Go now it's open. So now we have uh, everything installed. You can go to all functions we have. I give you a little trick here it might help you just it might help you with a web GPI click on help and go to web GPI manual click on open you will get a this documentation about the web GPI how to use it how to install it how how to do a lot of things this might be helpful so yeah we have a, a lot of options here to to work on like setup boom one in our case it's an s60 or 65 it doesn't have two booms but what they mean with that is one is for the boom up and the boom two is for the boom extend retract propel is there with the driving that's the steer this is a rotate and that's the setup this section is we're gonna talk on a different video about all those uh, sections this what you see now is it will be different by each application you install you will might see some you might see a different menu here because it depends on the options that you have on your machine and what version of you you have like yeah you can change the engine change the steer input you have a dual axis joystick for the steering or rocker switch So we're going to go through this menu next video.